Hello, Master Gardeners. Here it is mid-March and it's time for me to get my potatoes in, so I'm inviting you to come take a look at my garden and we'll walk through how to do this. But you know the potato has an incredible long history of thousands of years feeding people. But you know why it's such a popular vegetable even today? Number one crop for acreage planted in the United States. Number one processed vegetable. Can you guess why? Maybe it has something to do with the potato chip and maybe it has something to do with those french fries that we buy at the fast food place. But that's the reason potatoes are so popular and it's such an easy vegetable to grow. There are some insect concerns that are going to occur later on. But if you can get them in the ground now, your family will love watching these grow while the weather's still cold. They like that cool soil. So let me show you how you do this. You need to purchase potatoes, usually at a nursery, where they're certified in clean stock. That would be these type of potatoes. On the table here, I also have potatoes left from last year that I dug up that I'm going to replant a few of those this year in my rows. How do you do this? What you have to do is cut these into sections. These are actually pieces of a root. Roots will have bud, I mean, pieces of a stem. They're stem tubers, and stems will have buds. So here's the little buds that we call eyes sprouting. You're gonna cut it into sections, an inch and a half maybe, an inch in size. So I just have to make sure that on each one, I've got a little bud sticking out. On this piece, it's kind of hard to see, but I know I have a bud there, and I've got another bud up here. So even though there's nobody sprouting, I do know it has some dormant buds on it. And I'll have to let them sit in the sunshine to dry out for a little while. Here's an example of how to do this Kennebec potato. I'll cut him that way. I'll cut him again there because I got a, one good sprout on him. Got a good, good sprouts there. On this piece, uh, I got two sprouts, one on each side. So I'm gonna go down the middle. And after you've done your cutting, you have to let these potatoes dry out for a day or so. I usually only let them dry out for one day. I'll leave them in the sunshine and let these wet spots dry and cure. You can leave them sit as much as a couple days to dry out. So I leave them turned up just like that, raw side up, and I'll even come and turn them again during the day. Now here's some potatoes that I cut two days ago. It was raining yesterday, so I, didn't, I wasn't gonna film them. So look, they've even turned ugly and black but they're ready for planting. So as a general rule, you want to, well, let's say how much do you want to plant for your family? If you wanted to follow, abide by some guidelines, eight to 10 pounds will give you a hundred foot row, which will yield three to four bushels. That's a lot of potatoes. For those of you with just a small family who want to play, just go buy yourself five potatoes, cut them up and let them dry. Each potato is going to give you a couple plants and you're going to yield a good many potatoes off of that. So just buy a few to give it a try. So let me show you. Here's my pieces that are already cut. You want to make your rows about 36 inches apart. We're going to dig a little trench. They like to be in cool soil. So I'm going to plant a row in front here. I'm going to put my kennebics, kennebics in here. So I'm going to put them in the ground today at about three to four inches deep. So I'm going to lay my potato down in there and again I'm gonna lay my potato here and they're about 12 inches apart from each other and I'm gonna cover them with three to four inches of soil so I'm gonna cover 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 and I'm gonna hold for a couple minutes because after I've planted those in the soil I also want to apply a fertilizer to them even when I'm just first planting this rose already been planted with katahdin potatoes and I'm gonna use a half a pound of fertilizer. Here's my little sign. A half a pound of fertilizer for a 10 foot row. So I'm gonna sprinkle this over and apply this on the surface all the way down. Just sprinkle. Now, one of the tough things about fertilizer, it will actually move into the air if you don't keep it covered. So after I put my fertilizer, I need to gently cover that a little bit so that it's not floating away into the atmosphere. My nitrogen can actually move right into the air and my money is wasted. So I cover my fertilizer a little, pat them in, and I'll just let the rain take care of it. I'm not even planning on doing any watering on those. I'll just let it occur naturally. So potatoes, easy plant to plant. You can even do this in containers on your patio and on your porch. Let me show you some sample containers. 
This is just a milk carton, an old milk carton that I've lined with a garbage bag. That's all it is. I like to use the same soil medium that you saw me use before. It's that soilless mix, the Lambert, Lambert potting mix. Here I've already put one layer in. I'm going to take my three seed potatoes, which is a term that you use for these. I've already cut them. They've already been dried. I know they've got some sprouts on them. I'm going to lay three down inside. And then I'm going to take additional potting soil and I'm going to sprinkle it over top. I'm going to fill my container all the way up to the rim. And then once it's filled, I'm going to cut my bag away. Because this is just excess in my way. I'm going to punch some holes in the bottom. So here's my container. My potatoes. I need to run back to the house to get some more potting soil to cover. You're going to poke some holes in the bottom. So two or three holes, that's a sufficient amount. And then cover them good with soil. Now I didn't tell you before, but in my soil, when I first cover it, I wait for my potatoes to sprout a little bit. So I'll cover it with three to four inches of soil. And as they start to grow, I continue to mound some soil on it. Your potato new potatoes are going to grow on top of the seed potato that you stuck in the ground and that's the reason you're going to keep mounding the soil on top and potatoes need to be cool that's why they prefer to grow in Idaho most of our potatoes are from there because they have nice cool soil and cool summers so they like those cool temperatures that's why mounding with cool soil is the best thing for potato production don't get fancy about your containers. It can be anything. It could be this old tub. Just punch some holes in it. Anything. Easy family project. So there's your challenge. Go plant your own Irish potatoes and you'll have fun. I'll keep you posted on the insect and disease problems that can come later on.